Hello everyone and welcome back. We are getting closer and closer to baby time. So I don't know how many more of these we're gonna have for a while, but hopefully I can get another couple in before I have her. But if not, they'll start again eventually. I don't know, but this is what I fed my family this week for lunch. I do uh, lunches to send with my husband to work Monday through Friday. He does have access to a microwave because that's a question I get a lot. So he is able to heat up his food if he needs to. And then these are lunches that we feed um, our children. They are age range of two, four, nine, 15, and almost, well, yeah, 15. One's 14, and then one's about to be 16. That was just really weird. Two, four, nine, 15, 14 right now. But one is almost 16, not too much longer. Um, so this includes virtual school lunches. This includes work adult lunches, and then it also includes adult at-home lunches for myself. So you get all of it in one video. So here we go, I'm gonna show you what we had. We try to do healthy lunches, but some days it just doesn't happen. We just have whatever's the quickest, whatever's the easiest, especially right now, convenience is life for me because I am about to pop. So <laughs> anything I can feed them at this point, I feel like is a win. So uh, I'm gonna try to share healthy foods, but you never know. I mean, I prefer that they have healthy foods, but like I said, sometimes convenience is winning. So here we go. Let me share with you our lunches. Okay, for my husband's Monday lunch, he is going to work with, oh, I forgot this. <laughs> this is a McGriddle. We made McGriddles for Sunday breakfast. So he has a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle to take for his breakfast. He has a pear, oat bites, peanut butter ball and some cheese sticks. There's a uh, Colby Jack and then Pepper Jack. And then he has, what are these called? That Vanilla wafers. And leftovers from our Sunday night dinner, we had French onion beef casserole, roasted that veggies that and crescent that rolls. That okay, so for Monday lunch at home, we all have the same thing. Little kids, big kids, myself. The just the fruit kind of varies. So, um, this is Ashlyn's, see, some people have pears, some don't, um, some have grape tomatoes and some don't. So we have cucumbers, grape tomatoes, cheese, blueberries, mac and cheese. Over here, we've got no tomatoes, but we've got pears. So it just varies depending on the child and what they like. And then this is another one that has a banana, no, uh, no tomatoes, stuff like that. I actually have cucumbers and pears and I just haven't made my plate yet, but I'm about to put some mac and cheese on there. All right, for Tuesday lunch at home, peanut butter and jelly, mac and cheese, and veggie straws. This is Wilder's plate. The other kids have, obviously, more than this, but Daddy and I have not eaten yet. He's home today because I had a doctor's appointment, so we'll have to see what we eat today. All right, and so my lunch at home today is just leftovers from last night. We had chicken Olivia over white rice, so I just heated that up. Mommy. That's what I'm having, and I think Daddy's heating up his lunch right now, so I'll show you what he has, too. All right, and Daddy's lunch is leftover pizza from the other night that we had. All right, my husband's Wednesday lunch. He has another McGriddle for his breakfast. That is the last one. He has some oatmeal bars that I made the other day. I'm going to send with him a banana, some leftover chicken and Olivia, and smothered green beans. And he said that's all he needs because he still has some stuff at work. So he is good with that. Wednesday lunch for the kids is like a random assortment of things. And the two older ones are at school today. So just have the little three. And Wilder's I did not put on a stick because I just figured it'd be easier for him to just pick it up and eat it. So he just has all his stuff right there. It really has everything but just um, one little stick. And Ashlyn has two. And I just kind of, it varies on who has what because like she likes blueberries but she doesn't. She likes grape tomatoes but she doesn't. So it kind of goes with their taste and what they'll eat. But Everybody's just got like a little snack thing and I thought it'd be cute to put it on little kebab things because I figured maybe they'd eat it better. And it's like 70 something degrees, so they're gonna eat it outside as a little picnic. For my husband's Thursday lunch, I believe. <laughs> I'm losing track of the days. He has a ham and cheese sub. It's just ham, like a ton of ham and provolone cheese and mayonnaise. I have been sending him with some lettuce, but he says by the time he gets it, it's usually wilted. So I'm just leaving it off this time. Um, he has a chewy chocolate chunk granola bar, a mandarin orange, some pepper jack cheese, some peanut butter balls. This is 
what is this? I don't even know. Oh, two more oatmeal bars. Um, I thought that I had sent him with the last ones, but I found two more and they are so delicious. So he's getting the last two and then some Cheez-Its. For Thursday lunch at home, I made pizza biscuits and this is Ashton's plate. She doesn't really like a lot of cheese on her pizza. If you're wondering, she hardly likes any of it. So that's why there's like hardly any cheese on there. But anyway, we have biscuit pizzas and then some fruit. She didn't want an egg. So she, the rest, the other two kids have eggs with salt and veggie straws. And I haven't made my plate yet, but I'm going to have cantaloupe and biscuit pizzas too. And no veggie straws, no blueberries, just cantaloupe and some biscuit pizzas. So there's my mama plate. And for my husband's Friday lunch, he has leftover Italian sausage and spinach stuffed shells, pepper jack cheese, an oat bite, and a peanut butter ball. And that's all he should need because, again, he's got lots of other snacks. And now for our final meal of lunches for Friday. Um, Gary fed the kids leftovers from Thursday night, and I think it was hot dogs, beans, mac and cheese. I was in the hospital. I asked him to take a video if he could, but he couldn't. So that was it for this week. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Um, tomorrow. So that was it. That's what we had Monday through Friday this week. That's what I sent with my husband. That's what me and the kids ate. Hopefully you got some ideas. Um, I'll keep doing it as long as I can. I promise. But I don't know how much longer it's going to be because I'm pretty sure this baby's coming pretty soon. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and enjoy these other videos we have coming up for you. Also, you can turn on the red bell notifications so you're notified of every new video we post. Thank you so much.